Hello everyone, my name is Lucifer and welcome to Cold Front. I've seen this game for a while and I thought it would be the best time to play it now because it's the wintry season. It's all snowy and nice and it's a, it'll be a chill time to play with you guys. So grab your favorite hot drink, subscribe, and let's play. Continue or leave? Walk through. I guess we're walking through. Also, I... Yeah. <laughs> by by the looks of that, I just wanted to say, I, I, I don't want it to make it seem like this is like a chill game because I don't think this is a chill game. I've seen some screenshots and I think it's very, it's supposed to be like, I don't know if it's scary, but it's supposed to be, it's definitely supposed to be something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. On a cold winter evening, a new family moved into the next house next door. Oh, you know, they always uh, move in on the cold winter evenings. You gotta stay nice and toasty and warm. Mm -hmm. What was that? Oh, right, the door. Uh, it gave me like a quick quick nostalgia of like Japanese anime doorbells. Um, then a few days later, a bright doorbell echoed throughout the house. Ring, 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 ring. Quickly followed behind my mother. I quickly followed behind my m uh, mother. Uh, walking to answer the door to peek at who'd be standing outside. It was a lady next door who had just moved in. The lady and my mother started talking until she finally saw me hiding behind my mother's back. She then said this, You're gonna be cursed for the rest of your life. <laughs> I have a son about your age, but he hasn't come out of his room ever since we moved in. Could he go there and be his friend? Ooh, friendly friend. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I, whoa, this house is much bigger than I thought. The stairs coming up here are a bit too high, though. It'd be bad if anyone fell. So that kid's in his room up there, huh? Pulled up that lady to start bossing me around as soon as she saw me. I'm the one who's gonna decide if I want to be his friend or not. Wow, <laughs> okay. Well, alright. What kind of kid is he, is he anyway? He's some kind of a fairy tale princess or something? Oh, time to get swooned by a fairy tale princess. This is a very cool looking thing. It's a box here. Another box over there. Yeah, astute, astute observation there, kid. What, huh? It's locked. Oh, who's there? I don't know that voice. A, are you that, um, A, okay, I guess he's A and B. Are you that kid that's stuck in, uh, in the room all day? Open the door first and I'll, t and I'll tell ya. Oh? Okay. N no, thank you, but please just leave. Eh, why not just open it, will ya? Uh, I'm hurt. Let's kick down the door. Let's kick. Uh, it's not an actual option, right? You leave me no choice. Well, what are you doing? Stay back. I'm going in. Wait, wait a minute. You're actually trying to break down my door. Are you, hey, are you actually doing it? Wah! <laughs> the door quickly opened before you got to kick the door. Oh, God. Okay. Well, the game gives you those kind of options. Hi, you're cornered in your own room now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to Winter Wonderland. Oh, hey, it worked. No. Okay. <gasps> wait, wait, are you crying? Are you crying because I came in here, but I just got here. Do you like being alone that much? I was already crying and that isn't the reason why. Well, huh, then why are you crying? B because I'm lonely. All my friends are back at where I used to live. Now I have no one. No matter how hard I try. All the kids are he uh, here already. No, all the kids here already know each other. It's going to be hard for me to fit in. Even if they do hang out with me, it's out of pity or adults telling me, uh, adults telling them to because I'm new. <laughs> Funny you say that. Else is a classical word thinking. <gasps> I don't want that. It's the same, right? You only came here because my mom told you to, right? Well, yeah. I knew it. You also feel sorry for me. But I didn't come here to try and be your friend. Well, what, then why? I was curious about what kind of a kid you were. From what I've seen so far, I think you're pretty lame and whiny and a bit scared, uh, a bit of a scaredy crybaby. <laughs> Way to make new friends. I sure know how to make new friends. Wow, you're so mean. But hey. Oh. Oh, I didn't say I felt sorry for you, did I? Do did, did you just assume everyone feels the way uh, you think they feel? I talked to you once and you're already accusing me of something I'd never thought of. I think the real reason why you don't get any friends is the way you're thinking, thinking right now. Deciding what will happen in the future in your head and never actually trying anything in the, in the present to fix it. I mean, this is actually cool advice, so you know. Mm. 
if you're worried about people being insincere when they approach you, why don't you make them be sincere then? Punch them in the face until they're sincere. <laughs> I don't do friends just because someone told me to. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't do my friends until I'm told to. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> so you try and make me want to be your friend first. Don't push people away from the start and keep working hard and people that'll care about you will always stay by your side. That's what I was taught anyway. And they're gonna cry. Yeah, they're gonna cry. Happy tears. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> After a rather noisy first introduction, Winnie and I soon became inseparable. Uh, since elementary school. Ooh, whoa. And now even when we graduated high school, everyone in town knew us. We, as, uh, knew us we two were close. We went and did everything together. Same street, same school, same class, same lectures, same clubs, same interests, same hobbies. I feel like the personality, personalities have switched because you've become like, you know, okay, I have become more um, down <laughs> and Winnie has become a lot more energetic. We were always together no matter what, to the point that sometimes it felt uh, a little eerie. Oh. But Winnie suddenly stopped talking to me since last winter. We haven't talked since. Ah, uh, yeah. Friends be gone sometime. Whoa. I don't know what he's thinking. It's the end of July. Winnie's family is moving far away tomorrow. My parents don't know we haven't spoken in months, so... They told me to go out on a short drive with him, since today was the last day Winnie and I can probably spend our time together. You'd think you'd be in the middle of a meaningful and rem reminiscent, co reminiscent conversation with your friend by now. If it was a day before you're letting someone you've known for almost your whole life leave. But the car is silent. Wait, I thought this... Whoa! Alright, let's go with memory one. Why not? I thought this, was gonna be, this, this game was going to happen during, during like winter times. Click the, click the elk symbol with your mouse to investigate. Oh, 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 okay. Wouldn't it be too weird to start rummaging through someone's stuff without their permission? Especially if you haven't talked to someone in almost half a year. It'd be too awkward. I get that. I get that. Don't talk to someone for half a year. Mm, really, really changes things. Mm hmm. I'll take a peek later or something when he's not here. Okay. Oh, all right. I, there. There's one more there. No other one around here, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, I just can't sit here in silence forever. Fine, should I say something? Ah, fine, let's do it, let's do it, let's go, let's, 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 let's do it. So, what's with that look? Mm, it's nothing, it's just been so long. I'm surprised you talked to me first. <laughs> go on. Why, why were you moving again? Who were the people crying outside your house? <laughs> Is your leg all healed? Ah, uh, T took you long enough to, uh, why are you a dr what? Okay, for those who don't know, I was called T in high school <laughs> because no one could say my name. So, uh, okay. Uh, of course, I broke it last winter, right? It's been months since. Sometimes I just I lose strength in, in him, but other than that, it's it's all fully healed. Everything's back to normal. I never knew I'd suddenly trip down the stairs like that and on the day of the finals too. I later heard that you played my position in the game on, on my behalf that night. Yeah, and I didn't win. You were always better at hockey than me. The The audience loves you more anyway too. Interesting how ca personalities and characters can flip over the years. So, you know, yeah. Oh, uh, why? Who are the people crying in front of your house? Why do you have. Um. Do that. I lost my train of thought, but yeah. Ah, uh, those were my other friends. They all came to say goodbye. Ooh, your other friends? Hmm. Hmm. So many people were crying. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and so you. I saw you get a bunch of bouquets and letters and ugh, last minute confessions. Just when did you get this popular? You, sh you sure you, you want to spend your last day with me instead of your countless fans? Why do you not want to? Oh. Why, why, why were you moving again? Don't you remember? I got accepted into the uni we wanted to go. The transportation costs are high and my parents are moving their workplace near there anyway. So we just decided to move somewhere close to where the school is. University, huh? Isn't that nice? Hmm? Ah, that doesn't that does make me wonder. Hey, didn't we apply to the same school together? Ah, was I the only one that only one that got accepted while you got turned down? Ah, don't feel so bad, Augie. 
uh, I'll tell you hard for you on, on your behalf. Wow. Okay. Things really do change in friendships and time. So mm. don't call me Augie. Ugh, is he actually trying to encourage me? It just sounds like he is passively aggressively showing off. That's just your insecurities. So when are you going to ask? So when are you going to ask? Ask what? Wasn't all this you warming up the conversation so you can talk about that? The reason why I suddenly stopped talking to you? You know, you know why. Oh, because you're an embarrassment to be around. Just by looking at the short conversation we had a moment ago. It's obvious that the difference between the two of us is incomparable. I got into the school you wanted to go to. I have a bucket full of other nice uh, friends that adore, adore me. I've been praised and recognized by the public. And there's you. What are you? What do you have? No brains, no social life, no skills. What does that make you? Trash. Trash, that is what you are. I pity you. Oh, wow. You. What did you say? Hmm? What's with that look? Say it. Say what you just said again. Uh, okay. What's with that look? What's wrong? You're so cold all of a sudden. Did you? Did I say something wrong? Well, let, let us calm down and... How can I calm down when you're sitting there threatening me like walking trash? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Who do you think you are? Why do you always... Oh. Is it... Snowing? It's the winter in July, as it always happens. Yeah. Jay, just to be clear, it's currently July, right? Yeah. The name keeps changing around. Wasn't it Augie? It was I, then Augie, and then A. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Is it, is it a cold that's happening? What's going on? I don't know. I was too focused on talking with you. It was just like that when I looked back at the window. Oh, outside. Let's, let's go outside first. What's with the different names? And the door is frozen? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, what is that? Okay, I thought that was like a magic hat or something. Uh, I'm assuming that won't work. I'm assuming that won't work. I'm still going to go with this one. Kick the door open. Uh, this leaves me no choice. Let's kick it open. Let's go. Don't wait. Don't tell me you're about to start kicking my... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, it's gonna work. The door swung open. Okay, well, the magic, the magic, the magic, the magic solution to everything, if I could talk properly, is kicking things open. Yay! Oh, well, I did not realize I had to do quick time events. Wow, sorry, should have dodged, should have dodged faster. Ah, August in your outfit. It's all curled and swallow now, you know. Ooh. We're in... Oh, okay. So the start of the game. Cold front. Memory 2. D d does that matter? Uh, am I remembering things? Or is it... Okay, that's a, so that's a save system. Okay. What the hell's going on? So that car reminds me of Cozy. I don't think you guys have seen me play that game yet. I think that'll come in the 30 days of games. I think the 30 days is going to end up being 60 days because of what you guys will see, but that's for another day. Why am I suddenly standing in the middle of a snowstorm in July? Snow in July. This really is serious. I didn't know climate change would come to be so extreme. Everyone, let's take better care of the year. That's right, everyone. You better plant 15 trees by the time this video is done. That's right. That's not important right now. Well, it sort of is. Sort of is. I mean, it is important, but yeah, exactly. I guess even climate change can't just change outfits out of the blue. Look, look, our clothes. It's the outfit we wore last winter. This is awfully convenient. At least it keeps me warm. But if it, w but if it was changed for our convenience's sake... Something doesn't match up. It's almost like you're in a story and not an actual... ...the art of the real world. Our clothes are swapping already doesn't match up. Winnie's outfit, it's not pretty. Now what? I, now that I think about it, your clothes... ...aren't those for indoors? Yeah! While I did wear this during the winter, it was only when I was inside a building. Usually at school. Compared to who's got a cozy hat with those eerie thingies, a coat. Even those cute little boots, perfect for, perfect for outdoors. Aren't you cold? Why is why is Winnie so upbeat and positive suddenly? I like 
that's good for him. But now it seems like he's trying to like hide something with his over, over positivity. Yeah, no, I'm freezing. You moron, get back in the car right now. But, but the door uh, well, uh, well, it won't even close now, now, now after all the, the king you did. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, this is so frustrating. Why is our outfit different? What even is this blizzard? What does all this mean? Don't panic. We're gonna preserve our energy. Ah. Hey, you okay? I've, you, you, you've been shivering this whole time. Yeah, it's just so cold. Let me... Oh. Sit down and warm my hands a bit. Hey, could you please check the car while I do that? Check for something that might be of use or if anything's wrong with it. How could I say no if you're asking me like that? I'll be quick. Oh, don't close your eyes. If you do, you, if you do, you won't be waking up. Ah, this is strangely a weird situation. <laughs> I mean, it is weird, I know, because, you know, it's like winter in July and all that. But, you know, it'd be strange. It'd be strange. What does the sign say? So, what's in my bag? Should, should we check the bag first? Should we not check the bag? Can I just leave? I can't. Oh, you've gotten up now. I think. I'll just take the car because I need stuff. Whew. Everything's frozen on the inside already. I need something to melt it. Something with heat. Will I be able to find it? I mean... I don't know. Ah! Uh, whoa! Uh -huh. What was that just now? I swear I just saw something. Uh, it was the two animal things. The two animal things? Am I seeing things? Did the cold get to me? Ah, oh, get a grip on yourself, Augustine! Wait, is this? This is... I, I, I don't remember him smoking. Oh, yeah. He, pretend, he, he, pretend, he pretended so he'd look cool in front of the cool kids. And I warned him all of them, just called me a loser. The fact that he kept this means... He's still hanging out with them? Just, ignore, just ignoring my worries uh, for him. Ugh. <sighs> what? Am I not cool enough for him? Oh, am I really an embarrassment? Uh, I, anyways, the one thing uh, that I actually need. The lighter. It's not here. Where the hell did he, did he put it? You can use a car thingy, you know, the the cigarette lighter thingy that, that, that most cars have. Do they even have them anymore? Do they, do they even put them in there anymore? Wait, why does it say we're all out of fuel? I swear it was almost full when I checked it before. The situation's more serious than I thought. Am I really going to freeze to death out here? You never know. I think that's everything I need, I, I need to check for now. Why is this all of a sudden happening to me? It's enough torture it, uh, it's, as it is to, to having spent time with me. E. Oh, okay. We win E. All right. Is he being dragged away from a Yeti? What's going on? What happened? My hands are freezing. Then why were you building a snowman with your bare hands? No, that's not all that there is to why I screamed. Though it is a teensy part of it. <laughs> when you were still investigating the car, I... I saw an ominous shadow moving in the distance through the storm. An ominous shadow? Yeah, yeah, it really scared me. What if they're like, they're like in a time loop and what the, the shadow they saw is themselves from the future or the past? So I made this little snow friend to calm my mind. Cute, right? Say hi to him. Uh, say hi. He's not gonna leave me alone if I don't play along. Uh, so, um... Hi there, snowman. You can just call him that. You gotta call him by his name. Well, you even named him? What is it? Augustine! So all Augustine is too witty the snowman! A melty snowman! Why is it my name? Wouldn't that just be confusing? Then it can be Augustine too. Why am I too? <laughs> I love the I, I love the energy of the characters. They're so personality strong and so awesome. Anyway, I don't think we should stay here much longer. I have a bad feeling. So how about you? Did you find anything? It says the fuel's all out, so the car's probably the car, car probably won't move, and we'll need a heat source from the frozen parts inside. Couldn't find the lighter. Ah, that. I left it in my room somewhere. Since it's impossible for us to get out out there now, let's look for something else. Who? Then that means nothing will change even if we stay by the car. So we have no choice but to walk. Our number our number one priority is to find shelter plus heat and fuel. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Interesting. Can I mess up the snowman now? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, it's Augustine. Why aren't you putting a two on there? It's in the original. Ah, I love it. I love. I, I I like how 
it's slightly, you know, fourth, fourth wall breaking. If I could talk, I don't know why I can't talk today. I really don't know why. So why would I not be ready? What else do I ha do? I can I do? Do I can I do? Nothing else. Okay. I'll s oh, so these are saves. Okay. I'm ready. Smile, smile. We got this. We can. T I don't mean to overwrite the save. Damn it. No. That's ah, fine. Go, go, go. Woo. In Corpus Party, I found it the hard way that overriding my save was a terrible idea because I, th I think I had to play through like a whole chapter to get the other ending. I'll link it down below if you guys want to watch it. So, yeah, no. Stop hyping this up and just go. Why is the music? Oh, that's ominous. Oh, I'm sorry. The music is. V oh, wait. Am I supposed to move because? Oh, I am. And you move very slowly. Ooh, his walk is slow. He seems to be very cold. Well, I guess we're going through. I have to wait for you. I can't. I can't not wait for you because you're very slow. All right, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. Oh, ah, he's too slow. This leaves me no choice. I'll go talk to him to do that. Oh, I, okay, I guess I'm, I'm talking to you now. All right. All right, get on my back. Uh, you obviously can't walk because of the cold. I'll carry you. Y you sure you don't have to overdo it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since when do you care about that? I said it's fine, just stop wasting any more time and... But if I trouble you, you'll... I got this, I can lift you up easy and... I said I don't need it. This is a strange situation, you know, yeah. What, don't you want a trash kid like me carrying you around? Would that be too embarrassing for you? It's not like that. Why do you keep talking that, that way? Why do you keep talking like, ooh. Fine, whatever, it's my fault for asking. Oh, now he can walk pretty fast, pretty, pretty fast. Oh, well, that changed things up pretty fast. Oh, that can't be. Is that blood? Why does it look like it's been dragged on the floor? Oh, no, it's been dragged this way. Oh, oh. that's. Oh, us. Oh, no. I'll save over there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love it. That was options. Oh, I don't mean to do that. A dead body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's multiple stab wounds in its stomach. As if it was pierced with something more. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of me. Eek. Oh, we're going to now look at that one. All right. A dead body that looks like a younger version of me. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's a deep scratch wound across its chest as if it was attacked by something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Ugh. What the hell is going on? The sudden snowstorm almost freezing to death. And now I have to look at my own dead body? This, this is just a prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because... And there's no way all this is real. I can't believe it. You're really telling me there's something here that uh, with us that can cause these, these terrible wounds? No, let's be positive. The body's looking like us. Uh, uh, totally, we are freaking me out. But seeing how it's right on the middle of our path, <laughs> it's a sign. A very personalized and terrifying don't go this way sign. There's still, uh, there still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us. Ah, ah, oh! What the frick? That's not fair. I wasn't prepared for that. No, I can't forget. I keep forgetting this is quick time events. No. Ah, uh, pressing Z. Pressing Z. Z. Okay, I do a dodge. I do a di uh, I do a big dodge. Oh my God! Is that is a deer inside a deer? Off. We were able to buy time by shoving this creature back with your bag. 
Oh, you just had to jinx it. What are you just standing around for? Run! Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, ah, how do I run? How do I run? How do I run? I don't know how to run. I cannot really... Okay, I press shift. Okay, I make... Ah! Oh, I have more memory spaces. That's... Oh, I have so many memory times! Okay, okay, that's really awesome. Okay, that's, 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 that's really awesome. Okay, okay. I must run. I must run. I am running. I am running like the wind takes me. Oh, God. Keep running! Oh, God. Keep on running. Ack! Winnie! Oh, no. I, I ran too fast. I ran too fast. Wow. Ow, wow. Sorry, I stripped. I, I took a little. I'll, uh, I'll be fine. Did you do? Don't pull up the sacrifice card. Just get up already. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You pulled Winnie up. Oh, my God. Go run, 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 run. Oh, my God. Ah, thank you. You saved me. Should I, should I we're, we're, we're not out of this yet. Oh, my God. There's no, there's no way to hide uh, with how flat and why this fleet is. It's impossible to drive away. And we're going to be out of the breath in the sec any second now because we're, so, we're so stuck in the snowstorm. What the hell do we do? Wait, wait, Augie. I've got a plan. Hear me out. The floor we're standing on right now, I think it's ice. If we slam our foot down hard enough, we can make it crack on us ourselves so we'll also fall in the water. We can guide the monster to come towards our direction. Then on, on its way, uh, uh, it'll step on the crack. And with the ice not being able to handle its weight, the monster will fall right through under, under the water. Are you insane? What if we fall in too? Do you have a better idea? Ugh, no. Exactly. We'll get caught if we waste any more time. Come on. I got it. Don't know what to do. I mean, so you start doing what you told you what to do. So, you know. Someone at the same time. Ready? One, two. The ice crack. Oh, my God. We did it. <laughs> Yay. Oh. I thought it'd be more than that. All right. Okay. That, that, yes, it's working. It's going down. Wait, the crack's spreading wider than it. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told you so. What about Augustine? Oh, boy. G gotcha. I knew it. I knew we'd mess up uh, in this somehow. What did I tell you? Oh, well, there that goes. Jingle bell, jingle bells. Rudolph fell down a hole. He's not gonna see the light of day anymore. Who? Ugh, how deep is this hole? It's basically a cliff. What the hell is going on with, uh, with this place? It just doesn't make sense. All right, pull me up. Hurry. Augustine. Oh, Winnie? Oh, oh what should I? What should I do? <laughs> I can't feel my hands. I can't put any strength in them. It's all frozen. I feel like my fingers are going to fall off any second. I can't. I can't pull you up. I'm trying, but it just, it just won't let me. What do I do? What do we do? Don't. Don't do that. Don't you do that with me. You think this is funny? It's not. I'm being serious. So I'm looking around and pull me up. I'm not. It's not a joke. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm trying, but no matter how hard I try to hold on, I just can't. Oh, no. Don't let go. Please don't let go. I'm your friend. We're friends. We're friends, right? Oh, no. Oh! Interestingly, the crack in the ice was a, uh, kind of like a reindeer kind of thing. Well. Oh, I get to save again. Yay. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Do I get to make friends with the reindeer? With Rudolph? Rudolph the killer reindeer. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. <sighs> how, how am I still... Oh, my leg, it hurts. I can't get up. I uh, can't freeze to death here. I can't, I can't go out like this on because of him. Get up. Get up. Move. 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 Move already. Oh, I get to... Ah, uh, no. Okay, I get to move up. You got up. Yay! I got up. Going grab the way one. Cold, 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 cold. Cold. It's too cold. I never knew a person can feel this cold. Oh yeah. Whenever I was in a cold, I was. I've never been in like a snow or like negative degrees Celsius um, before. But uh, I was. One, I had once taken like this astronomy club trip, and we had gone to this place, uh, and it was extremely cold. There, like ten degrees or something. And it was so cold, I could feel my bones like freezing over. And it was so, so cold. And nowadays I, I get cold at, at like 25 degrees because I, because I basically live in a very hot place now. So, yeah. Um, the cold is piercing me, who I probably won't be able to get up to, uh, next time I fall. Oh no, that's, a, that's foreshadowing, isn't it? That's foreshadowing. 
Oh, of course everything's fierce frozen too. How's the snow when it's indoors? Wait, this is the hallway of his house. Why here? Is, is he somehow connected to why all this is happening? Oh, just thinking, thinking about him may, makes my head hurt. For now, I need, I need heat, 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 heat. Anything warm, hot, literally anything. That's right, the, the, the lighter. He said it's somewhere in, in his room. Something tells me that this is not the room from the past. I mean, the present. Oh, uh, I'm not helpful at all. Okay, but like the lighter, I gotta get a lighter first. The boxes have moved, so it is. Okay, so it is the present house probably when they're moving around. Okay, it's locked. <gasps> huh? No, no, no. Why is it locked? Why is it locked? No, no, no. Please, why is it? Why, 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 why now? If we take it open, but I don't have the strength this time. The key. I, I need to find the key. I'm losing my senses. I, I, I need to find it quickly. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this, this, the stuff el the stuff elk is the stuffed elk is gone. Well, there is no key anymore. There is no key around here. What do you want me to do? Oh, that was not open before. I don't see a lighter here. I don't see a lighter here. I don't see a lighter here. W wait, what? I I can go further. Remember to smile, uh, and muscles work hard to do. Take the keys, return books, ask, ask Augustine about the stairs. We're friends, right? Reminder, take stuff out of out of your pocket before uh, putting them in the washer. I keep forgetting. Aww. Did you put these up? Will, uh, will, will looking at these pathetic pieces of paper be helpful? What the hell am I supposed to do now? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He said he took the keys, though. <gasps> why, are lights, why are the lights coming from under the water? Is that an ambulance siren? Why is it so distant? I don't get it. What if they both crash in real life and now this is what they're imagining together? Or this is what Augustine is imagining at least. And his regrets flowing through or something like that. Not helpful at all. I can't. I hate that sound. I hate that sound. I can't really do anything else. Um. Oh, it's in the washer probably then. But I checked the washer already. What do you mean I, it's not there? I already checked it. Thinking back to that note on the mirror. Maybe he left his keys in one of his clothes when putting them in the washer again. Wouldn't hurt to check. I checked it. I knew there's definitely something in. Oh, what the hell is this? So, uh, there's a zipper on its back. Is this a fake body suit that looks like me? I know, it's a hallucination, but what? why me? Why me in here? In his house. For now, keys, I need to focus on the keys. Okay, very interesting imagery and everything that's happening so far. You took the keys from his pocket. Oh, I saw that. 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 I saw those eyes. Yes, this is it. It's gonna be a different room, isn't it? It's gonna. Oh yeah, it's asking me to save. It's, it's something suspicious. It's something suspicious. It's something suspicious. Oh, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. The lighter. Where's the lighter? You desperately move around the room with your arms reached out, and soon you suddenly feel something in your, in your grasp. <gasps> I did it. I found it. I need to light, light up the room. Oh no, it's gonna be. A, oh, it's good. something. Something. Some, oh no. Mm. Oh. What's all this? I see something on the desk that I really need to take now. Th those are all. But this, this is his room. Why am I in his... Even the furniture look like... Me? Oh. Ah. I get it now. I knew it was suspicious how we were always stuck together. That bastard used me like I was his own for his own advantage. Like I'm, an ob like I'm an object he'd put in his room. Like I'm his clothes he can wear whenever he liked. To act like me, to copy me. I feel like this is your mind trying to justify all this. He applied to the same university as soon as he learned what school I wanted to go to. So he started acting nice and got, con uh, got a confession out of someone who I, who I already liked before. He suddenly got interested in an award I was already working to get, and he, he was and he was recognized for it. I cannot speak today for some reason. The, the cold has got my tongue. The cold has got this. 
He even got into the hockey team I was a part of since I was young and still in my, still, still my position. See, the thing is, I think this is all in his head, obviously, you know, and he's just trying to justify all these things in his head because he feels insecure and he feels bad about stuff that happened. So, you know, and played in the game I was supposed to uh, and won. Stealing, stealing all the attention from everyone, even from my close friends who I knew before he came along. Everywhere I go, everyone that I meet, every time I do want to do something, he always shows up and steals, replaces, ruins everything from my life and leaves me with nothing. Now that I truly have nothing left, now that he's already stolen everything from me, he starts ignoring me, talking down on me, pities me, and now he was trying to get rid of me for good, to throw me away like a piece of useless trash. To get rid of, rid of any evidence of how he uses, used me. That's right. I was always suspicious of him. Always hated him. I don't know how he did it, but everything that's happened from the moment I got out of the car probably is, is his fault too. Yeah, all this must be his fault. Yeah, definitely. Every single thing is absolutely his fault and definitely not you imagining things and, and connecting dots where they, where they aren't. Oh, well, there's that. He's trying to hunt me down. Augustine? Augustine, is that you? <gasps> it is really you. It really is you. So you were here too. I was worried. I'm glad you're safe. You, you, how did you? Well, this place hasn't been really realistic, realistic so far. I couldn't hear anything after you fell down that hole. So I knew something else must have happened to you instead of. So I followed you in. I fell and now I'm here. I don't know why this place looks like my house though. Oh, and while I was going around, I was looking for you. When he held up a gas tank. I found some fuel. Anyway, are you okay? Are you hurt? <gasps> found the lighter. Lighter? That's great. Now that, now that we're both safe again. Since we both looked around this floor, we should go downstairs. I'll wait for you outside. Oh, you, you look like a mad scientist, my dude. Like from Pokemon, like a mad scientist. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I get to save? Alright, sure. Okay. I can't. I mean, there's, there's something on the desk. I want to. I want to us on the desk. I can't. All right, fine. Can't see that. Can't see any of that. Can't see anything else. I guess I'm gonna go. Gonna check out all the rooms. Nothing really there. Is it me or, or is it getting more like purpley or bluey? Interesting. Very very interesting. All right, I'm gonna go to. I'm assuming I have to go outside now. I'm assuming I got to go outside. Over here. It's... Oh, hey, you're not outside. Or are you? I don't know. Oh! If he was able to come down here and see how I survived after falling down, there's a chance, there's a chance that but that monster is also still around. Down here is a stair to the first floor. This bastard, he's, he's probably planning something to get rid of me again. It is like how he tried it with that hole earlier. I need to. I need to strike him first. I maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. To push me, I maybe I don't. Maybe I don't do that just yet. Snap out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets. And what's with that scary expression? On don't worry, but I'm definitely not trying to murder you in any way. I would never do that. I would never ever do that. I would never ever ever do that. Yeah. You keep talking to yourself and accusing me of something I've never said. I called your name multiple times just now, and you didn't even answer. We can't go on like this. Augustine, I have something, I have something to ask you. When I fell down from the stairs last winter, you mean, like, these stairs? Like, literally these stairs? I saw you. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I know that. But I knew you were at a distance where if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from following. When I was lying on the floor about to pass out, I also heard footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that someone else called the ambulance other than you. I, that's... But despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or enraged, I just felt... confused. I think that was the first time I started seriously reflecting on our, on our relationship. All along, I thought we were best friends, but since then I realized you might have thought of us, thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call ever since I was paranoid uh, about, about how you'd felt feel about me. 
I thought you hated me. I thought, I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is a hug. A hug, see, walks. Oh, this is such a test. A conversation. An honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything. If you don't, I'll never know it until the day I die. Augustine, tell me how you feel. Oh, you have feel. Oh, that's a lot of blue and turbulence. The moment I heard the words, tell me how you feel, I had forgotten all my suspicion, my hatred, my fear of Winnie. And nothing but all the feelings I've had bottled up for all those years were left in me. We started, hel we started to helplessly flood out in the most unsightful way possible. I envy you for succeeding and I'm scared of what will happen to me in the future because of it. I, I know I'm supposed to feel very happy for you. I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know I'm being overly emotional. I know that more than anyone. I know I'm being pathetic. I know, I know that, but I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I can't help but think you stole everything from me. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me and then take it away from me. I wasn't just once or twice, but every single time. And then you soon master of what I wanted to do, making you, you loved and recognized, covering me behind your massive shadow, burying everything I've done so far in the grounds, taking uh, away everything that I wanted to impress, having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you. And now that you're adorned by everyone, you must have felt embarrassed for having to call on nobody like me your friend. No talent, no social life, no skills. Now all I have left is that fact that I'm your friend. We have so much more in life than me. You won't need me anymore. So I thought you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is that really how you felt all this time? More crying from Augustine? Augustine. I mean, Winnie, I'll never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You were my hero. I looked up to you ever since we first met. I was able to be the way I am now because you inspired me with your bright and friendly and how friendly you were. I was able to feel at ease no matter where I went or what I did because I had a friend like you and with me. I think that's why I kept following you around. Because I didn't want to leave your side. Because I now realize there are still things not even a friend should do. That there's a line not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times up until now. Huh. Interesting. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have, I should have respect, respected your line. I should have thought of, about how you'd feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blended by admiration back then that I couldn't see. I couldn't see that you were the only one. You were the only one in my own. I mean, only true before my hero. I can't speak properly. The cold got me. It, it, it must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know. I I know apologizing now won't change that past. But I just want you to know this. You're the coolest and brightest person I've ever met in my whole life, Augustine. I was only able to do all the things I've accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You worked hundreds, thousands, millions times harder than me. And I remi reminded myself every day of how lucky I am to have ever met a friend like you. And what do you mean you have nothing? You're someone who can take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Hmm. Ah. Now I get it. It wasn't Winnie that was hunting me. The real hunter was myself. Already or already deciding what's gonna happen in the future, what other people will think will be in my head. Ah, just like Winnie did all those years ago. Blaming others for all the misfortunes in my life. Not trying hard enough in the first place and just finding that by saying someone who's skilled than you're more popular than me will come along and take all the glory away anyway. It was all me. Even though Winnie stayed at the time, stayed the entire time, I was too blinded by, by my own jealousy and insecurity. That no matter what he said or did, uh, did I distorted the truth. D didn't even try to talk to him properly and decided that he was only going only out to ignore me and, to, and only to hurt me. Interpreting him the way I feared and believed in the lies I told myself to, 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 to justify hating him. I was at fault all along. Oh. <laughs> Her Kurg! That, that's not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You, you've always been a good friend. You always were. I was a fool to ever have taken it, it in the wrong way. I'm sorry. I should I should never have let you got gotten hurt. 
you're the, you're way more important than my pride. What was I even thinking? How could I even be so childish? I was stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it now. You can call it even now since I didn't let you fall into that great giant hole. Yeah, okay, fine. That makes sense. We'll make each other fall into holes all the time. It's really okay to brush us off that simply. <laughs> they be crying, Augustine. We're friends, right? Oh, okay. I don't think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. Then. Yeah, we are! It's like Naruto and Sasuke. Fist bump! Fist bump! Aww. <laughs> are you okay? Breathe, Augie, breathe! It's been so long since I cried this much. <laughs> it's okay, don't cry. Smile, shh. Oh, all calm down now? Ugh, oh, yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. So, Augie, remember that weird already dead theory I told you? I've been doing some more thinking on that and. You know, people say, a person sees their life flash before their eyes, and they're about to die or, s or something, they're seriously injured. What if this is that? Uh, the situation where now and now is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't just watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing it. Reliving it, even. T, that means we're about to lie and die in real life. Why is there a T? Because his name is Winnie, right? Oh, okay, it's t t t Okay, they're stammering. Okay, never mind. I didn't hear the ambulance sirens go off a few moments ago, but... Wait, then why are, where, where are we now? Probably an important memory that we constantly look back to. A memory that impacted our lives the most? Oh, and an, an, another thing. Can people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it! I think this is because the memories we're thinking of are the same! Whoa! <laughs> what were some memories you think that it impacted you, you, you deeply in life? Meeting you and seeing you fall last winter. Mine too! Our first introduction and first time the, uh, the crack in a rela relationship was really quite shallow. So there's, so the reason why it's suddenly winter now, our clothes are suddenly changed, have shown to change, and why this place looks like your house, is because we're in a mixed memory of the winter we first met, and the winter when I fell, and the house is left, uh, the house is left the same way when my family first moved in. Our clothes are what we were wearing. Yeah, okay, okay. You're, yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Okay, fine. This is this is obvious. So what you're saying is we're currently in a coma and we're in a critical condition. Probably because of a car accident or something. And our con consciousness are okay. Yes, 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 yes. How do we get out of here? Hmm. I, I got it. This is a flashback of an important memory that we look back to off and on, right? Because of our regret, because it deeply affects our lives. If that's why we're having this flashback, if we get rid of our regret, get rid of the thing that's mentally hunting us, the thing that keeps us making us, okay, maybe we'll snap back out of the prison inside of the past. Back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, there goes gravity. But, but, but I think that you must, yeah. I think that monster represents our unhealthy relationship in the past, in, in the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcefully mixed together. It felt like it was in tremendous pain, suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure it'd it mean that our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone. Because we got rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can, we can escape the flashback. All right, let's do it then. I trust you. <gasps> okay. No, no, need to get, no, no need to get that, that cheerful over it. So how do we defeat it? All we have to do on us are fuel and the lighter. <gasps> We're gonna burn this down. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Nope. Oh. 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 Ack. Speak of the devil. Hey, I'm here. Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. <laughs> Yippee, how convenient for us. All right, tell me you're when you're ready. Oh. I mean, I don't, there's not, there's no point to not being ready. All right, let's turn the light on, check it. Yeah, yeah, I love it when we finish each other's sentences. Oh, yay. All right, let's go with this. First floor, we got this. Oh, boy. Eek, there it is. Where? Right there. There. I don't see it. Uh, I was looking at it right as get, 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 get the fuel out. Pour the fuel down. Light it up. That's uh, a quick time event, probably. Oh, never mind. No, no quick time event. Okay. Now, Woggy. Oh, uh, I pressed it. I pressed it. Oh, I pressed it. Got it. 
All right, there you go. Wow, we do a burn. We did it. We did it. We really did it. Woo, that's so cool. Now, yeah, the way that you threw that was way more cool. Than both are cool. <laughs> okay. And then we got rid of the monster. What's our next move? Oh, yes, yes. Our next move about about that. I didn't think that's our head, actually. <laughs> you what? Maybe if we let ourselves burn here, too, we'll somehow wake up back in the real world. <laughs> this is not very comforting. If I die, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, that's one way to do All right, sure. O okay. All right, okay. Uh, let's do it. Ugh. Owie. Owie. Ugh. Well, why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren and ambulance, huh? Winnie. Where's Winnie? Winnie? Wow. Ooh, wow. Someone theory was right. The car crash coma trope isn't this cliche. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't the version we were already dead. Now that we, that would have been troubling. You would have woken up as ghosts. How can you summon a smile at a time like this? But you were smiling too. Yeehaw. We do a smiley smile. We do a smiley smile. We had, we had lost consciousness after, after the sudden crash. And we found ourselves waking up in the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkup, the results showed that we, despite the severity of the accident, when he only suffered a minor minor injury like bruises, never if it surprised me, that guy. Compared to him, I... I fractured my left leg. I didn't feel upset, though. It was only fair. This made us even. When he was, when his move was pushed back after the accident, for almost the whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I could recover faster. Hmm. The sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. We we're still not sure if what we experienced was a dream, hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Winnie talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Winnie and I were finally able to have uh, an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. Eventually, Winnie left. The Winnie isn't by my side, side anymore. Very cool, he got friends. Augustine got friends. Thank you for being my best friend. And now Winnie's gone forever! No! That doesn't mean I'll be alone. Aww. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Um. That was a very nice, sweet story about everything like that. I won't go back and do the other option. I think it's kind of obvious, you know, if they die, then Augustine finds out that, oh no, it was my whole thing this whole time. And then he probably wakes up with Winnie dead or something like that. I'm assuming, I, I you know, I think that'd be a cool story, other side of it. But if, if you want to play, I'll look the game down below as well. I think it was a very cool game. The only, only criti criticism I have for this game is that I know it's trying to be very anime-like and the characters were like that. It was, a, it was, it was very fun. But later on in the story, it becomes a, it becomes way too, you know, the, the story like telling you what's happening, even though the player will knows what's happening. So I feel like you know if they if, if it was more subtle like that and more dialed down and you know knew that the player would know these kind of things, I think that would be uh, that, that would make it a more a stronger thing. But still, overall, that was a very very fun story. I enjoyed that a lot. I did not expect that to be like that. I thought it'd just be like a little like walking around visual novel kind of thing. But it was a, it was very fun with like quick time events and all that. With the story beats, very, very fun. Very, very cool. And that's about it for now. Yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of Hector Doug Prevly. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay frosty. Goodbye.